Light me up, don't you stop Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride Hello guys and welcome back to my channel For another video and to a glorious Day. Happy Jubilee weekend, which actually I said that on my Instagram story yesterday and I was really surprised by how many messages I got back to say What do you mean Jubilee weekend? You get a bank holiday because of the monarch's Jubilee and I was like, yeah <laughs> um, So yes, England moved the May, the May bank holiday to today, which is Thursday and then tomorrow is Friday and we've got an extra bank holiday for the Queen's Jubilee, the Platinum Jubilee, which is amazing. Hello ponies, hello Waddy Waddy. You're walking over to me, they're in a different field at the minute. Um, I've been wanting them to come down here for a little time because as you'll see, we are very, very close to the train track. Now where we hack, we actually hack around down the valley and you're kind of running along parallel. Oh, you've got flies today, haven't you? Are you ready to come in? Hi, say hi to the vlog. We're off for something fun today. Yeah, we are. Um, and I've said, I can remember when Lola was a baby that having her put down here, seeing trains go past all the time, this is like the main line. So this is the one that goes from Penzance up to London. So there is a lot of trains every day. And I just remember how much better it made Lola with trains. Now, when I first had Addy and we first saw a train out hacking, it scared you a little bit, didn't it? It sent you a little bit. She just wasn't quite sure what to make of it, if I'm honest. But down here, this is what we call the railway field. Um, the cows are usually in here over winter because the yard is just behind and that's where I steal my haylage from. So because obviously I got Addy at the beginning of winter, she hasn't been down here yet, but hopefully that will just give her. And she's already got better from being in the big 10 acre field, which is on the other side of the hedge and being down in the meadow. So she's heard the train. She's seen them a little bit from being down there. But this is, as you can tell, the track is literally just running along by. So she will have seen loads of trains and just then got completely used to it. Hello. Hello. Right. Come on, let's get you in. And then I will. Yeah. Today's video, we are going cross country schooling after. Oh, yeah. After the weekend, which I'll be honest. I said in my Instagram post on Sunday that I'm not dwelling on it anymore, onward and upward. But I'll be honest, I have been beating myself up all week and I think when it comes to youngsters hindsight is one of the most I was going to say wonderful but it is not wonderful one of the most frustrating things and you just yeah I am and I think re, I did vlog it on Sunday but I'll be honest I just don't want to I don't want to relive it it's not a memory I want to look back on I suppose it was meant to be fun and I'll be honest, it wasn't fun. Um, I, it was fun for Addy. Addy had a whale of time and she doesn't actually know that she did anything wrong. Um, we just got to a couple of houses on a one strider double. It was like a wider fence, like lengthways, not actually width of the fence, to a skinnier house. And I just could not keep her straight through it. She just kept running through the bridle and running past the B element. And then of course, because it was one stride, even just to come around and try and jump the B on its own, I couldn't get her straight and focused on the fence. So yeah, it wasn't her being naughty or, well, I suppose just being a bit rude, really, just running through that bridle, taking hold of the bit and just going. But it's all fixable. And yeah, huge love and thank you to Cameron. He's given me a phone call this week. I explained to him what's happened. They're not gonna let me catch them now because I've been too busy blabbing. Um, you're coming in, you know. Yeah, huge love to Cameron. He's given me a phone call this week. I've spoken through what happened. It was also the fact that the warm up was rushed and with a baby, as I've said previously, you cannot rush anything when it's, yeah, with a youngster. You need to give them time to, soak in the atmosphere the environment and we thought that they were running behind time and then by the time we had actually got to the warm-up they were already back on time which left us not very long at all i think i jumped three cross-country fences and when they shouted our names i was just like we're not ready for this and i met maybe it was me maybe it was my mindset because i said that we weren't ready she jumped all the single fences 
really nicely, but I could just tell her brain wasn't quite there. There is a lot going on on a cross country course. There's jump judges, there's cars, there's photographers, there's people watching, people walking. And I just knew I didn't have her brain with me. She was like, she even did a really cheeky little bronc after the first fence because she was like, I'm so excited. And she like, I think she knew. And they have fully walked off down across that field. So let's follow after them. Um, so it was just, yeah. And I have, like I say, been beating myself up all week because I really shouldn't have bothered. And also even in the warm up, when I knew I wasn't ready, I should have said, you know what? This isn't worth it. And yeah, I mean, mistakes are there to be learned from. We all make mistakes. After speaking to Cameron, we went schooling on Tuesday and he said because of it being the skinny and with the straightness and things like that and being able to get her to like almost go whoa and listen um just to set up jumps around the arena but with no poles so it was just a basic schooling session but we were doing it in and out of jump wings basically and doing our downward transitions oh hi Nala, you've come back again um and it really really helped really helped um she was very very good very willing very yeah it was just nice just to, and I'll be honest, we haven't actually been schooling for quite a long time. Obviously, I've only got my grass arena, which I've done some in hand stuff up there and then got on and just did like a trot circle. But yeah, I haven't actually been out. I've been using those Wednesday evenings at Cornwall Trek Summer Series as being a little bit of training, doing a couple of round practices, which has helped massively because it's such a lovely atmosphere there. Really relaxed um, and perfect. So I've kind of gone, yeah, we'll go to that as our weekly training. And now again, a little bit in hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have, but no, no, I think they've been good for us. So not gonna knock that at all. That, that has been good for us. Um, but it was nice just to go into school and have a little bit of a play, no pressure. Not that there is any pressure when I'm going to those, yeah. When you go to a baby, it's, I think I put on my last vlog, which went live last night, jumping competition, because, yeah. And I didn't even say where we came placed on it. We had two fourths, but I didn't even, I don't think, I think you saw me getting a rosette, but I didn't actually say what placing we got, but it's, that's like the cherry on top. All I wanted to do was go in there and jump around and, crikey, this is a long intro, but I feel better for venting about it because like I say, I have been annoyed at myself all week. Um, which was something that was meant to be fun and I actually had something entered for this weekend again just to go there and sort of practice not as a competition event um, but I've decided to withdraw from that and not yeah not in that environment because I think that would have been a much busier environment not quite so relaxed atmosphere and I don't think it's worth going it's quite it's a bit of traveling as well and really she doesn't need it so hence the reason i have booked us on to a clinic today we are going cross-country schooling at a new venue that we've never been to we're only in the baby group although i have been messaged this morning to say that two people pulled out of my group yesterday and then the third person has pulled out this morning so unless they've managed to find anybody else who's wanted the spaces uh it's just going to be Addy and I having a private lesson with John T Evans which is really exciting never had a lesson with him before I have heard good things so he is a Irish event rider Olympic he rode in Rio I think so I am super excited you're gonna love it new venue new jumps I've never even been at the venue it's a fairly fairly new one. Oh. And like I was saying about the train, so we see how bothered she is. My training is working. Hey! Go on then, ponies! Let's go! They're now not letting me catch them. <laughs> they're walking away from me, but they're walking in the direction of the gate. But yeah, sorry about the long intro, guys. Just wanted to sort of be open honest it is young horses there is always going to be bumps in the road um but something that i massively have learned with addy that i perhaps didn't learn with lola is never ever be afraid to ask for help um like cameron calling me this week i know that i've phoned fred in the past uh, I've spoken to Cameron many a times and yeah, never ever be afraid to ask for help. But you'll find, and I mean even from like Sunday, I had mum, Tina and Chris all giving me different advice. And don't get me wrong, I, I appreciate it, 
but it's hard to sort of dissect to take what what you actually think or whether you're just thinking that because of what they said and then having the call the reassurance from Cameron who has done many youngsters in the past um really really helped and yeah just if anything out of my whole 10 minute intro blabbing I give you anything is don't be afraid to ask for help don't be afraid of making mistakes there is going to be bumps in the road and ask the people that you trust also just going to add on to it because I've just been thinking about it now um as sprites let me catch her but oh and Addy's following on behind is I thought pears was going to be super fun at the weekend um I remember doing it with Lola and it was, it was really good fun with Lola and with Spritey when I did it, but obviously Spritey was at a much older age. Um, but Lola needed it. Lola was a very nappy, didn't want to leave her friends kind of mare. Whereas Addy is Miss Independent and actually having another horse there, again, being fresh. she had had two days off before, which I don't think I mentioned. Um, because I knew that she had done quite a bit. So I was like, I'll give her a couple of days off. Her being fresh is fine, just as long as I've got ample warm up, which I obviously didn't. But Lola, yeah, didn't want to go out the start box when she was younger. Um, and I used to have to like bypass the first six fences just to get her out on course. And even that would sometimes me being led and things like that. Um, whereas Addy isn't, she, at that first one day event that we did, she just went straight out the start box, wasn't bothered and was good as gold. And actually then with her brain not being quite with me, having another horse there, it was just all, yeah, a little bit too much. When you're thinking of doing pairs, if you've got a bit of a backwards youngster, pairs, brilliant, I'd do it. But if you've got a bit more of a independent, bold, sassy little mare like this one, I wouldn't advise doing it but again that is another lesson that I have learnt and when she is older you thanks for knocking my sunglasses when she is older and knows the idea of the game and she can be in front or behind or what have you um, you did leave Banksy over a couple of fences didn't you because like I say she is bold and yeah she enjoys it yeah sorry I'm totally rambling but I just feel like I I feel like I've started now which I've probably needed to do all week and just needed to vent out probably cut a load of this out <laughs> cut a load of this out but just yeah it's helped me i wouldn't advise beating yourself up about it either because it really does get you down and feeling very meh and i was just i was not disappointed in her oh gray fly oh no that's the first one i've seen first one i've seen let's get you in um yeah anyways <laughs> this is gonna be such a long vlog and it's just gonna be me rambling Okay, it's about an hour later. Addie's had a nice little groom, time to chill in her stable. Always tried to make sure that they do come in, not only like rest their bellies off the grass, but also just to chill for a minute. Um, not me like rushing around trying to get in. Don't get me wrong, don't always go like that. But when I've got the time, like today on a bank holiday, I'll give her then time to chill, loaded the car, hitched up, quite proud of myself. I cleaned up the trailer last time, winning. Um, and I hitched up quite easily too. So it's all going well so far. Did remember that I'd run out of water. We used that up last time, so I've just bought the wheelbarrow with the water up. Do you know, I've only recently started using a wheelbarrow and I'm like, why did I never think of that before? I'd always struggle coming up there, especially now that there's gravel because it makes it even harder to, to walk. But yeah, I'd always like struggle, have to stop halfway. And I just don't understand why I never thought about using a wheelbarrow before. Give Chris a ring. He is coming along to be top videographer and well, moral support really. So yeah, lock the dog away. Um, thought I won't stress him out having to hold and film. Just let him concentrate. It'd be like a mum and dad day trip out. Um, so she's gonna stay here. And yeah, let's get uh, Addy Waddy in the trailer. We've arrived, haven't we? Hey, I'm not gonna lie. Followed the sat nav and it took us all weird and wonderful ways, but we are here. I miss the car park entrance um thankfully there is a gentleman down there that said i could just park up here so i've just sent a message to say i am here missed the car park but i am sort of unloaded and i'm not sure where to meet it's always a bit like that isn't it when you come to somewhere new um i know tina gets always worried about going to new venues and things like that i suppose competing is different to training but we need to find out where we need to meet them we've got about 20 minutes not even probably even longer than that about half an hour 7, 307, yeah, 
yeah, just over 20 minutes um, before we are supposed to be on. Still haven't heard if anybody's filled any of the spaces that were in our group, so it could just be Addy and I. Probably be quite a short lesson. Um, it is warm. I've just offered you a drink, but a typical horse, you can lead it to water, but you can't make it drink. Hey. You travelled well, didn't you? Yeah. But just to go up, have a little bit of fun, show us some different kind of jumps. Nothing big, nothing scary. And uh, yeah, just go and have some fun, pony fun in the sunshine. Just want to dance, want a simple romance, nothing more, nothing less from you. Just stay the night, then we leave when it's like nothing wrong, it's alright with you. and more bendy so she's slowing down now that's it that's it good ideal perfect and so rather than you saying slow down you're letting yeah. us slow down naturally yeah letting the bending do it yeah much more effective so you can tell her not to lean in on your inside leg, and that slows her down. That's it, perfect. Well done, lovely. Now I want you, when you can, to choose a moment to canter. Okay, but not too much space. Now trot, change the rein and canter the other way. Good. Don't let her lean on you too much. Good. Now trot again. Do it again. That's it. Well done. Perfect. And what's happening? And she's starting to anticipate. Yeah, which is good. So that now she's ready for us to start working, yeah? Yeah. She's slowed down, she's breathed, she's let go, she's, yeah. uh, you know, it's all right. Yeah. Um, so I would say, the biggest aim with her is to stop her leaning on your inside leg. Yes. Okay? Um, and, uh, you know, so you turn, you turn right round that roof, and you move her out off your inside leg. Yeah. And you turn again, and you move her out again. Mm -hmm. Okay? So she gets used to moving out. Mm -hmm. um, and don't think anticipating is bad. Anticipating is good. Okay. Okay? Because then they, they are already thinking... They know what you want. Yeah. And so that, you know, let that happen for a while. Okay. Okay? Right. And letting him move over is really good. And then even moving over and going into cancer. Yes. Okay? Yeah. And those things that are going to, will, will bring her on and on. Now, what's the worst thing she can do? As a five-year-old, what can you, what's the worst thing in cancer she can do? Uh, gronk a little bit? Is no. that the, what you mean by bad? No. Oh. A straight line. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. A yeah. straight line is horrific. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, obviously, you're going to probably have to jump a fence on a straight line. Yeah. But then it's got the fence in the way. But a straight line in general is horrendous. Okay. 
uh, because it allows them no bend in their body. And no, uh, the line does not show them at all how to bend in their body, so it's really hard. Okay. Um, yeah. So why don't you walk around that log? Yeah. Um, and so when I want to show a young horse a fence, so you're going to look look to me now, and you're going to turn along this line. Okay. Now she can look a lot, look at it, but she's not allowed to bulge that way. Okay. And you take your time, turn and do the same that side. Then you change rein, do the same thing. It's overkill a bit, probably, for the log, but it's worth doing. For anything, yeah. Yeah, it's worth doing with things like ditches and whatever, because then they've seen it. Good. <laughs> Look along your line, right down that line. That's what matters, your line. Good, good. Now canter. With the bending, moving her shoulders out. Here, look along the line. Leave her alone. Well done, well done. Look at how you want it and you're leaving alone. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Good, don't worry. It doesn't matter if she misses, okay? Okay. Do it again. It's almost time now for them to learn. Yeah. You know what missing is? Yeah. Because at some point everyone will miss. I think I've been trusting her a lot recently. Right. So would you say can for now? Uh, I, uh, yes, I would. I don't really, I'm not really a trotter. Good, leave her, leave her. Well done, well done. Well done. Now turn around, walk down the gap again. Then walk down the step. Good, and then turn and walk up one of the others. They're really good at walking up fences. Yeah. Good, leave her alone. Good, good. Walk down that little one. Lovely, lovely. What? You're joking. <laughs> Good. And turn around, do it again. Good. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Do it again once the other way. Good, well done. Um, good, keep going, keep going. Lovely, lovely, brilliant. Come back down it. Good. Watching you then, I feel that you're riding astride a bit. Okay. Okay. Don't ride astride. Sorry? Don't ride astride. <laughs> um, I would say get in your cans if you're happy with there. Yeah. Okay, and then maintain it. Okay. And so they have to stay on the line in the canter you want. Okay. Because that's really important later on. And so they may as well start learning it now. Now the difficulty with your young horse is that it probably can't stay in the canter, yeah. okay? But, so we, we battle away to try and keep the canter, and so that becomes riding here, like this, and that can very easily become riding to a stride. Yeah. Okay? okay? So you look a little bit, fractionally, like you're adjusting the canter here for the stride. Yeah, okay. Okay? So I want you to pick up the canter again. Do it again. Mm -hmm. Is this one too big? All right. Uh, okay, that, jump here, that's fine. I don't want that. Okay. I don't want to overface yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't want that kind of doubt in your mind. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So pick up the canter, come round there, have the canter you want to jump from there. Okay. Okay. And then the idea would be to maintain it. Okay. So that will do. Do not change that. Look along the line. Good. Very good. So there. Emily, that looked like you were riding canter. Canter, yeah. Yeah. So keep the canter. 
That will do. Good. Line, line. Lovely, well done, well done. Good. Not oh, bad, Good, not too big. No bigger. No bigger, no bigger. Come on, keep, don't worry, don't worry. Let's go along the line, along the line. Good. Good, well done. Good, keep scanning. So that, keep scanning. Tap, 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 tap. Good, well done, well done. And the other way. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Keep it. Good, good, good. So can you feel the change in the canter when you come down the bank? Yeah. Yeah. Does Emily do horses? Or what, does she, she do something else work-wise? Um, she, yeah, she's got another job. Right. Um, yeah, she's a council with the council. Good, that's it, that's hey. it. Well done. Once again, it was fractionally big off the bank. So pedal backwards, pedal backwards, pedal backwards, pedal backwards, stay there. Brilliant, brilliant. And almost you wanted to take a bit more time. Okay. Leave her alone, leave her alone. That's it, that's it, that's it. Now stop and turn around and walk down it. But keep yourself back here in loose rain. Stay well back. Better use the net. Has she jumped down step before? Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. Do that once more. Yeah, she's done it. Um, I don't know if you've ever been to Chimpton Park. No. No, near Zeela on right. the A30. Yeah. Okay. Try and make sure you stay straight. Okay. However, whatever line you want to be on, you stay on that line. It's very important that you don't wander off it. Good, well done. Stay straight now, look up along it, along that line. Good. Now you can do it the other way. Real, real, good girl. Good girl. Right, so ride your line and the canter. Good. Lever, lever, lever. Look up, look up. Good. Good. And so you've got a real idea of your riding from point to point. Good. Along here, along here, along here. Is she listening? Well done. Was that better? Yes. Much better, yeah? Around here as well. Exactly. And the quality of the line then, consequently. Quality of the line now. Shoulders. Good. Very good. Looking for the line. Good. Stand it. Stand it. Looking for it. Let's just sort of up. What are you doing, you donut? No, stop, stop, stop. I meant ditch and then to that. Oh. So look, line. Hold it with your legs. Leave her time. Let her have time. Good. Lovely. Lovely. Now the other way. Good line, line, legs, legs, legs. Good. Lovely, lovely. Well done. Line, look along it, all the way. All the way, all the way, a line. Lovely, lovely, well done. And your job is to make sure she doesn't run away, she doesn't slow down, all those things. Yeah. So if she slows down, you keep your leg there. If she runs away, you keep your rein there. You know, all those things, you, you correct what she does wrong, if you like. Yeah. 
rather than do something else. Yeah. Yeah, no. Jesus. Because then you are you are working with the kind of natural horse, as it were. Yeah. Yeah. Rather than trying to make something, you know, that's too hard too soon. Hundred percent. Yeah. I think it's safe to say she enjoyed herself today. Yeah, quite. Quite. <laughs> It's that fine line with with youngsters, like they need to almost be a little bit challenged, like yeah, I do yeah. sometimes with yeah. her, but yeah. also trying to keep it fun and not yeah. be so hard. A little bit challenged to occupy their brain. A yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no. And especially great. with Arabin, it should be very sharp, very sharp up here. Oh, uh, right, okay. Oh. I'm not very, I'll be honest, I'm not very oh good my with God. my breeding. My, so. my first pony, well, no, no, not first pony, I had two ponies that buck you off and rear you off, Rose and Posey. But then I had a 14T that was half Arab, half Welsh cop. Um, and it was unreal. It was so clever. Ah. Uh, uh, so that's where your brain's coming yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. That's what, the, without doubt. Yeah. But, oh, you know, if there's only thoroughbred in there, they're quite clever as well. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, good. Well done. Well done. Awesome. Very good. Thank you very much. Very good. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Yes, and you. Nice to meet you. My little super groom has just taken her for a little walk. She's all washed off and um, put some of that naff, wash it off. I feel like she thoroughly deserves it. I'm like looking where I can put my camera down. Um, not the best angle, but oh my goodness. Absolutely beaming, beaming. She was epic. Um, and I'm glad that both John T and I were both like, right, she's done plenty now. Um, and then finished just coming up over the steps to kind of just do something that she'd already done and just, yeah finish on a nice easy positive note but she was awesome she was so game on I can't believe some it's silly isn't it but some of those were actually quite technical like coming off the bank and then jumping that gate and I've got to and I suppose that's where you've been riding Sprite you've been riding Lola you ride Banksy who you do have a little bit of a say in the stride but at the moment I need to allow her just to, I need to let her go, get the canter I want, which is something we're gonna work on in our flat work. Massively need to work on that to be able to build up the strength that we can hold that canter for longer. And then that is gonna help our jumping absolutely no end. So I think, yeah, focus on that schooling for a minute. I feel like she's seen enough cross country. She's just shown to me today how blinking bold she is, how clever she is. And would you believe that Arabs are really intelligent? Oh, he's taking her off up for another walk. Yeah, the Arab in her is where the intelligence comes from, which I never knew, and a little bit of the thoroughbred. Um, I'll be honest, I am not very good with my breeding. I did do all the research when I bought her to like look into like the same offspring and things like that, but I wasn't, I'm not really that sort of up on it. But it's a lovely little course here. Anybody who's in Cornwall, Garlinda, I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but I think that's how you say it. Oh, I'm putting them in wrong. Yeah, really good. Loads of different options around. You can string loads of fences. A uh, nice little water complex um, with more questions there, obviously, than what we what we did. Um, I think he wanted to give us like more and more challenges because she was just so game on, but Chris said he was like, no, don't need to do that today, which, yeah, got to be sensible. It's finding that very fine line when you've got a youngster of keeping it challenging enough to occupy a brain, which is what I just said to John T as we finished, but also enough to keep her mentally, yeah, thinking, but. Right. Oh, look at her. She's so gorgeous. Two of my favorite people. And we're home. They're just eating their dinner. I'll be honest, they're not being fed that much. But... And I made it nice and sloppy for you, Sprite D. Yeah. You'll be proud of her today. She was very, very good. Very good. Huge thank you to John T and Garlinda for, I'm hoping I'm saying this right, for organizing it. I know it sounds silly, but I'm really pleased that I didn't cause any issues from us on Sunday? I mean, <laughs> you got sloppy gyps too, haven't you? You very much enjoyed yourself. And I just love, and we were just talking about that in the car on the way back, like the difference between Lola and her. I need to not interfere too much, just have my canter, which is what we're gonna get in the school and we're gonna work on that canter. And then that is gonna make jumping. I know that flat work equals to better jumping. I know that already, um, but it's just kind of, I wanted to show her different things. But now it's, I think, focus a bit on the schooling, isn't it? Yeah, get that strength in the canter, being able you to hold yourself. And yeah, in front of the fence, once I've got that canter, leave her to it. Let her sort her legs out. Whereas I think I was always so used to Lola being like, got to drive, got to drive, got to ride, ride for the stride, see the stride, ride for the stride. 
um, and it's just taken me a little, little while just to get used to it. But you enjoy your day out in the sun? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Thanks for coming and filming. Nala's very happy with that we're back. We are off to a family barbecue, so just waiting for them to finish their dinner and then we'll be popping them back out into the field. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. I believe Chris has filmed an awful lot, you said, haven't you? Filmed like everything. Oh, oh yeah, pretty much. Is it tiring coming out? <laughs> Everything is filmed, so hopefully you guys will find it just as educational as I know that you find all lesson vlogs. Um, we'll definitely, I think, in the next few months, try and get down there again for another lesson. Um, I don't think we'll be as privileged to be able to have a lesson on our own. That did work out pretty well. Um, I hope horses don't bite that, you baby. We're going out. We're just waiting for Sprite. Oh, Sprite's done. Yes, yeah, Sprite's done too, so let's put them out. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, we will see you all very, very soon. Bye.